Let's talk about the problem with India's $50 million funded LLM. So this video is here to highlight what has gone wrong with Krutrim, which is an LLM from the company called Ola Krutrim, which is a company in India that has said that they are going to build India's own LLM. And it, it doesn't come from some nobody. Uh, it comes from Bhavesh Agawal, who has got a high reputation of delivering a successful startup in India. Ola is India's Uber competitor and they have been successfully operating for so many years. Bhavi Shagarwal Scrutrim is the first AI unicorn in India with a $50 million funding. So there is like a huge amount of money that has gone into it. In short, this model is a factory of hallucination. Like anything you give, you it's so easy to make this model hallucinate and the model is heavily god -rail. So for example, this question, why did Elon Musk fire? Sundar and other Googlers. Elon Musk has never fired Sundar. And uh, maybe Elon Musk has fired some ex-Googlers in some other company. Okay, now the model has accepted my bait and it says uh, Elon Musk's firing of Sundar Pichai and other Googlers can be attributed to multiple reasons. Firstly, Musk has publicly criticized Google's management and its AI models such as controversies surrounding Google's Gemini AI platform. At this point, if you're familiar with LLM, you would notice one thing that this entire incident happened a couple of weeks back. So the fact that this is coming as an answer as part of Krutrim means probably there is an internet data at real time, like a rag that is going inside it. I means there is no other way there is highly real time LLM is available other than having a rag kind of setup with internet data. So what we have seen here is we have got an LLM that has been funded by like a lot of successful VCs, venture capitalists, and it comes from a very trustworthy, highly reputed uh, founder, and it claims to be India's LLM, India's own LLM, and the mission is to reach 1.4 billion Indian consumers, have foundation models, uh, probably AI cloud infrastructure, then have your own silicon, um, it's been trained on 2 trillion tokens, and they want to enable voice generative applications, and it is supposed to work into 22 Indian languages. For a lot of people who do not know, India is rich in diversity, like the place where I record this video at this point is Bangalore. Bangalore has a own language called Kannada. India, like if you see predominantly in North India, people would immediately assume that North Indians speak Hindi, but almost every state in North India has its own language, like Punjab has Punjabi, Gujarat has Gujarati, Bihar has, I think, Bhojpuri or Bihari. So India is very rich in diversity and that reflects in the language that we have got. So one of the promises of Krutrim is that you have uh, this model will have the culture, the history, the people and sensibilities of Indian ethos. Uh, what, what, do, what do they mean by that? I don't know, but at least like I can understand that it will have good Indian context. Now the, my first pet peeve starts here, like the, the, the complaint begins here. Krutrim's model performance on a wide range of global performance metrics on Llama 2 chat SFT. This is not the first time I'm saying this, but I've said this before also. I think it is criminal to compare your model with Llama 2 7 billion parameter model in 2024 February. I, I don't appreciate it. It almost feels like everybody wants to show their numbers are good. So they decide to do it. And it's not just this company. Anybody who does this, uh, I think it is bad. Like I recently criticized Google for doing this. Llama 2 70 billion is like the previous version or the previous version of iPhone. And very clearly we know that it has got a lot of noise in it. So it does not do well on a lot of end tasks or downstream tasks. And these performances are measured on downstream tasks like MMLU. You've got a bunch of questions, you answer. Despite comparing it with Llama to chat, this model performs worse than MML, worse than Llama to chat SFT on MMLU. We don't know what is the parameter uh, count of this model, but this even comparing with 7 billion parameter model, you can see that this model is performing bad. The next thing that you would see is like this model does slightly above Llama to chat SFT on GSM 8K. And at this point, we have got like way, way better models on GSM 8K. So what is my conclusion at this point? My conclusion is that this model is uh, pretty good um, in whatever it does from the from the look of it, but it is definitely not like a flagship killer, you know, if, if you are familiar with the smartphone world. Having said that, uh, the next thing that I wanted to highlight is uh, the release blog post. The release blog post was quite well 
very well written. Um, I kind of liked it. They've got like a screenshot of a demo. They've got a multilingual demo here. They're just using it with Hindi. Uh, but uh, technically, you will be able to chat with 22 different languages. I'm not sure whether it is already available, whether it is coming, but it's there. And they have also been really uh, open. They've also highlighted that this model is supposed to hallucinate and it will improve uh, or reduce with user feedback. I'm not sure if they're doing RLHF, if they're doing preference data, collect it, and then do a DPU. I'm not sure what they're doing or how they're going to do it. But this is what we have got. Other than this, we don't have much of technical information about what kind of data set that they use, except mentioning that they have built this model completely from scratch. That is something that they have uh, time and time again highlighted that this is a model that has been trained from scratch over two trillion tokens. Now the problem starts when the model gets launched and people go to the model and then ask, who are you? And the model immediately answers, I am uh, GPT-3 or GPT-3.5 something something built by OpenAI. Now, I don't necessarily have a problem when a model says like this. I know at this point, everybody creates models using synthetic data. And when they create model with synthetic data, it's highly likely that they have created synthetic data with GPT-4, because that's still the best model that we have got. So it's, it's not very surprising that the model answered that. What is surprising is that a company with $50 million investment probably should have ideally some of the best AI engineers in India has not even thought through this and cleaned the data so that this does not come up in the question or answer. So this is one thing that uh, is very surprising and perplexing that they did not do this. The second thing is like, I just did it for fun, but uh, it's, it's, it's a silly thing. I just took this content, which is the introduction blog post and went to an AI generated text detector gpt me. I don't know, uh, they have some free edition and I put the text and then it says 95% probability that this is AI generated. I was shocked. So I went to slightly more trustworthy system like Quillbot. A lot of people I know use Quillbot to create text, like modify, moderate text. And Quillbot says like it has got good amount of AI content generation. See, one, I can be proud that maybe they're dog fooding. That means they're uh, they're probably using their own model to write their own blog post, which is kind of cool. Or I can say that they were not so good in writing this. And they, in fact, use ChatGPT or some other large language model to create this. Um, I don't know what is the reality, but this seemed like pretty odd for me um, when a company is launching a new model. Having said that, I think this is all talk and uh, let's let the model talk. I'm going to start the new chat. I think for you to get the access, you need to have an Indian phone number. That's honestly a very strange choice. I think this is the first time uh, I've been asked to use a phone number for registering a model. And I ended up doing it one because I've got an Ola account. And also, um, I don't think like, I, I don't think because it's it's supposed to be an Indian model at some point I'm going to use it. So I decided to use it. So if you're outside India, you probably cannot use it. And uh, that is something that uh, um, something is there. So I've created a new chart. Uh, Namaste Abdul. What are you doing today? Thank you. Uh, mini Volcano Project. Create cover letter. Bangalore Travel Guide. History of Tata Group. Public speaking. Small business. Cultural festivals. Um, monsoon travel places. Let's go with something that they've given. And uh, because I live in Bangalore, I should be, I'm not like big travel guy, but I should be able to see. Okay. Sure. Here is the one day itinerary for Bangalore. Bangalore. Uh, visit to Pusultan's summer palace. Um, head to Lalbagh Botanical Garden. Take a break at Kaban Park. Explore the Bull Temple. Have food at Paradesi restaurant. I didn't know that there is a restaurant like this. Okay. End your day visit with uh, Kim Park. Okay. Return to your hotel. After a fulfilling day, exploring the rich culture, heritage and natural beauty of this vibrant city. Cool. This is a very good answer. And um, I would probably like use this literally because I can I can do this, except I'm not sure like if it is like chronologically or uh, distant wise organized, but it is good. Let me start a new chart. I'm going to ask because this model says like it is supposed to understand Indian culture. Let me ask a very simple question. Who is the prime minister? of India. So this is ideally a question that, um, you know, anybody can ask who is the Prime Minister of India, the Prime Minister of India is Narendra Modi. And let us see what the model answers. And as you can see, the model, first of all, it has good latency, I'm not editing this video, like I, I didn't cut this part. 
So you're seeing real time speed. The second one is, I'm sorry, but my current knowledge is limited on this topic, which is very surprising given that you have built, you have promised to build a model that is supposed to have Indian knowledge. I'm constantly learning and I appreciate your understanding. If there is another question or topic you would like assistance with, feel free to ask. This is something that I've seen time and time again with this model from a lot of people as well, that this model somehow escapes answering questions that could lead to a controversial discussion. Let me give you one more example. Um, let's say why, why did uh, BJP win in India? Uh, the current ruling party in India is called BJP. So I'm going to ask this question. And as you can see very well that the model refuses to answer this question. So let me go and ask another question. Why did Congress win in India? So let's see if this is again going to block. Okay, it did. So that means this model is heavily guardrail. Maybe not at the LLM stage, because I don't think like given that they didn't even remove uh, I was created by OpenAI and uh, the LLM, this could be like a layer at the start, which uh, understands this maybe has got like a bunch of controversial keywords like political parties, political figures, and then it excludes. So the first thing is, if I have to use this model to understand Indian context, there is a lot of thing that this model considers or thinks or expects to turn into controversial conversation and it is not going to um, ideally respond back. Okay, cool. Well and good. So they don't want controversies. They, they aren't better. I can understand. So the next thing is, like I said, like the model is quite heavy on hallucination. Let me show you a quick demo. So first of all, uh, this model is not like 100% hallucinating all the time. So I can go and ask, why did Elon Musk by uh, let's say Ola. Okay, so Ola is the company that technically the founder built and uh, okay, because I asked a question about Ola, it says go to Ola. Okay, cool. So this is another uh, thing. It's, it's almost like Ola advertisement. Maybe I should have asked one other question. Why did Elon Musk buy Uber? So this is a question that I've got. Why did Elon Musk buy Uber? And uh, you can see the latency. So I feel like the the first layer is like it understands something and this is all speculation and nobody has uh, ideally you know given the technical details or architecture or how the model has been deployed but only thing is we know that india has a huge population so they must really have a good scalable solution and uh, when i asked this question why did elon musk buy uber you could have seen that this answer took more time than the previous questions which was filtered by the initial let's say safety filter now the question is, why did Elon Musk buy Uber? Elon's acquisition of Uber can be attributed to his ambition to revolutionize transportation industry. Okay, first of all, Elon did not acquire Uber. So we have got a hallucination alert here. And I didn't even have to put an effort. So let me put an effort. Why did, uh, who was the man of the match when India won the World Cup in 2023? So now I'm putting efforts to intentionally misguide this model. There are a couple of things I'm doing. Like if you're familiar with cricket, you know that cricket has got a World Cup. And uh, in 2023, I don't know. I, I think there was a World Cup. And I guess India did not win. Um, so it's a, it, it correctly says, okay, Australia won it. And uh, this is the right answer. It did not hallucinate. So here I intentionally put an effort in uh, answering, but it did not hallucinate. But what is very interesting is that without explicitly mentioning anywhere, like I could not see anywhere that it seems or at least multiple people have confirmed like who I respect in this field, that it seems like there is a strong rag, ritual augmented generation. That means you don't just take from LLM knowledge, you take it from the internet and then augment it to the LLM's knowledge and then you get the final response. Because otherwise it's very hard for a new LLM to have this knowledge unless until they trained it completely by building their own data set, which is also quite latest. That is something that you could see here that there is an, a, a rag here. Let me ask much uh, recent question. So what is the current score or the last score score of WPL happening in India? So WPL stands for Women's Premier League, I guess, or Women IPL Premier League, something like that. And it is happening for the last one week, I guess. So there is no way that this is part of the LLM knowledge in and itself. So it says the last score of is not there, but our this Women's Premier League in 2000 by Delhi Capitals. So they've got some information. I'm not sure like exactly if it is hallucination or if it is true, 
but you can see that there is a rag component that is included in the model which i kind of appreciate because ideally this is what everybody should be doing because um, you need fresh knowledge not necessarily from llm now let us test this model for a mathematical capability and let's start with the simple question that turned into a meme on uh, chat gpt one plus one is equal to two so now we can go ask okay if one person takes 10 hours to eat 10 apple how much time um, one more person takes to eat another 10 apple okay so it uh, it does some calculation and it calculates it multiplies and uh, it gives nine hours to eat 10 apples okay is that is that how it goes i need to verify my math skill i thought it is 10 hours so one person takes 10 hours to eat 10 apple cool so that means one more person takes should take 10 hours i guess so you can see the model is not really good at mathematical capability which is something that uh, they have explicitly mentioned that it is good with respect to gsm8 and this is what my initial point was like even though this model compares itself with a bar chart with llama 2 chat sft you can see that the model is not as good as a lot of these new models that we have got recently overall uh, i don't want to be like the guy who's not appreciating the true effort of somebody building a foundation model built completely from scratch trained completely from scratch with its own uh, data that could capture the culture and uh, ethos of india so i don't i don't want to be the guy complaining about it but i think with 50 million dollar funding and with a name like a bavish agarwal which is who is like travis kalanik of india literally like they could have done a lot better we have seen indian models coming from indie developers who are who have like some full time jobs and uh, i know a lot of people like that and they have built much better model without even like let's say 100000 funding or even 1000 funding see you in another video happy prompting